guys Augs here from the us thank you for watching the top and flop of the game this is a new series that i will be launching after every game to see who did good and who did badly so if you are a fanboy of any particular player you better not watch this series because i am not going to sugarcoat people i'm gonna be honest because that is the reason why i am here flop number one frank lampard yes i know what you think you're gonna call me anti frank and whatever but i don't care i'm just being honest here in this particular game we almost lost from the beginning because of his selection and you know selecting marcos alonso from the starting 11 against ajax was a very bad idea and after that the 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 change the subs that he did later on were all bad you know those kind of game are the, the games that you can use maybe olivier juro because ajax are a very small team and they can't cope with long balls and over the top balls so like Mourinho say to win against Ajax you have to give them what they don't want so what they don't want is a lot of pressure in the box Onana is very short all their center back are very short you can just give them hard time and win the game so the entire game we were playing Ajax game you know following what they doing instead of imposing our game or giving them something different so even nine against 11 they managed to have free kicks corner kicks and almost scored that showed you the strategy from frank lampa was very very bad because we could have just launched the ball in their box and try to give them problems for those reasons frank lampard is my number one flop of the game flop number two of the game marcos alonso i don't have to say much about this guy he can give you a few games here and there he can score a, a few goals or a free kick but overall this guy need to go flop number three kepa ariza balaga yes i know he is a good goalkeeper but for me he is not a great goalkeeper he is not a world-class goalkeeper yet but he will become one of the best in the world in the future he's still 24 and he can only improve the guy can't command his area he can't defend set pieces or make a good wall or defend from a corner or anything he is shaky and he looks scared so for me yes he is great in his day he can make you fantastic saves here and there but a lot of stuff need to be improved from this guy and yesterday against ajax he could have done better so even frank lampard said it in a press conference that kepa need to be more commanding he need to be more vocal and his long passing need to improve he always passes sideways or just short passes with uh, the players that are close to him but i've never seen uh him going long and getting on target always it's gonna go out of play or end up by the opposition player so i don't know if you see anything special about his kicking because it looks like people don't watch the same football that i watch anyways not too much critics i have to be honest kepa need to improve you can have 100 percent of passing if you pass just to the person who is close to you right and he put the defense under a lot of pressure he tried to dribble sometimes and most of the time it doesn't even come good and almost like conceded by trying to to do some stupid stuff so kepa need to improve world-class potential 
special mention for the flops it could have been Tammy Abraham or Caesar Aspiliqueta or even Manson Mount but I don't have enough time to talk about everybody here they were not the worst on the field so I'm gonna save them for now but it could have been one of them because they didn't really do much on the field let's move to the tops of the game number one Jorginho man this guy knows how to take a penalty 40,000 people in the stadium waiting for you to score he is cool and collected every time he step up he score except against City when he missed in the final but everybody can miss a penalty so Jorginho penalty taker and overall game was top class top number two Kurt Happy Zuma the guy turned to be the prime Eden Hazard he dribbled everybody in the team but unfortunately he forgot his shooting boot at home so he didn't score but Kurt Zuma the overall display was top class the, the score line doesn't do him justice because we conceded four but Zuma you deserve it brother keep walking you can do it top number three Reese James the boy scored his first goal in the Champions League and won us a point in a game that was very crazy so I don't know what to say much about this boy but you can tell that he is better than Aspiliqueta he still doesn't have experience but he will get a lot of experience and help the team in the future well done to you son special mention about the tops Christian Pulisic the boy did a lot of work defensively off the ball if you know you know but if you don't know how to watch a game of football and only watch where the ball is and I understand that you won't get it but the boy was walking very hard which I am very happy and proud to see another aspect of Christian Pulisic if you know you know it the second one is cover I don't have even to talk about this guy anymore because everybody knows even if he perform 50% of his ability he would do some crazy stuff that only him can do so cover man you are the man there we go guys let me know what you think what are your three flops and three tops of the game against Ajax you don't have to insult me you don't have to ag to agree with me you can just let your voice heard this is my personal opinion you should respect it and i will respect yours be cool like angolo kante always think outside the box